<laughs> I have asked Willie. I want to tell you, Willie has worked with us and been part of this part of this whole place of the kids growing up for how long, Willie? Twenty years. Uh, since I was sixteen. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> will it will it by by night and day, except when he's working here and a few other places, is indeed a minister, and I value that and respect that greatly. And I have asked Willie to to lead us in whatever he cares to briefly, and then we're going to turn it over to you all. Thank you. All right, Willie. Uh, Reverend Cobb, excuse I believe, me. <laughs> I believe I understand. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I like to say that we thank God. First of all, when we look around and look at each other, we can say that we are blessed people because we are mine friends. Amen. And I think that it's a blessing just to be here this afternoon. And I will listen to gentlemen here talking about John. I knew John. I met him some years ago, and I'm in the Lord. I let us have conversation, share words together. And I said just my words. I remember John. I'm in. I can say that he, to me, he was a man of great compassion. I'm in. He's a man that showed himself friendly. The word of God said, if you don't have a friend, show yourself friendly. And this is what John did. He had compassion. He had love. And I know he inherited that from his mother. Because Dr. Harden, to me, had the attribute of Christ. Christ said, I didn't come to destroy man's life, but I come to give life and give it more abundant. And when I think in time and I look at it, and since the time I've been around this place, I have seen Dr. Harden took many lives. I seen her, I mean, when little like men alive were falling, I seen her reach out and pick them up and say, live on. And I'm sure that John inherited some of this. I mean, this is a family that I'm very close to, and Sister Marilyn, I enjoyed her coming to the church. Had a nice time, and this is just like home to me. But in behalf, I, I, I refuse to say goodbye to John. Because if we live right and live for the Lord, amen, we go John again. Amen. I heard the word of God said the other day, to die is gain, but to live, live it all for Christ. And I and, and just like a gentleman said that John been walking with God most of his life, most of us would talk when we were child, right, growing up. Our both parents talked us what was right and what was wrong. Our parents talked to us about God. Every one of us here would talk when we was a little child, right from wrong, and how to respect God and for who God is. And I heard the word of God said in Ephesians, said to the children, obey your parents in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Obey your parents in the Lord. And I know John did that. I know he did that. But people, we have to realize one thing. <laughs> Whatever God do, nobody can change it. We have to accept that and accept God, and this is a celebration. This is a celebration. I remember this song, and when Dr. Harden got the news, she came to me. I couldn't say nothing because I couldn't say I know how you feel. I never lost a child. You understand what I'm saying? I couldn't say that. But I could say what Paul said in Philip 4 and 13. I can do all things through the Christ that strengthened me. You can endure. You can't go on. You can't die hard and you can pick it up and go on because Jesus said, I will never leave you, not forsake you. I'll be with you at all the time. And I thank God for all of these friends. I thank God because, yeah, man, yeah, without a friend, what would this word be like? What would you be like without a friend? Amen. And I certainly thank God for the friendship and for the love that has been expressed here. You didn't just buy, come here just to be coming. Love about you here. And what could be better than love? The little song that I remember when I was growing up. Love lifted me when nothing else could. And I thank God for that. But John was a man that I feel like loved his fellow man. I didn't go on no trip with him. I go on okay with 
But I had word with it. And I had word. And the Bible said, keep your mind steady on the Lord. He keep you in perfect peace. And I know God is real. And I know the word of God is real. He said, you shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free. You can be free. Every one of us can be free. All we got to do is keep our mind on the Lord. And I, I just thank God today. Amen. To be part of this series. Amen. And we have to learn to love one another with great compassion. It's the only way it's going to be. God is in control. This whole world, no matter how much riches you have, you just got to come down and do what the Lord said. Amen. If you're going to have peace, and amen, and you're going to make it. We're going to have to be like Christ. Be Christ-like. christ man. And then when you can do that and have the fruit of the Spirit, then you know you're on the right road. I thank God today. Amen. The Lord has been good to all of us. And I thank God that I don't have a grudge in my heart against nobody. I love everybody. And, you know, sometimes people look at it and say, well, they don't love me. That don't matter with me. It ain't what people think about you. It's what you think about people. It ain't how people treat me, but it's how I treat people. It ain't how much people love me, but it's how much I love people that count with God. God is in control, and I thank God. I, I remember Anne, and I remember Marlo. I looked at him a while ago, and I had to look up at him. You see how quick time passed. Right now. He was just a little bit at that. And I looked and I had to look up at him. I remember when Marlo was just a little bitty, little bitty fellow, catching snakes and green snakes. And, <laughs> amen. And I just thank God. But I want you to know I don't have a grudge. I love everybody. Just the only way that I'm going to be able to make it with Christ. That I'm going to have to love and have compassion. And show love. You know, we can talk big, but I am man deep, speak louder than we. And I thank God for Dr. Harden. I be here, and she know I be him. So love Dr. Harden. I love the family. I love everybody. And I feel free this evening. When I can love, I can be free. So I just thank God, and I know, and man, John is all right tonight. I know he all right. And and for his daughter, I would like to say. This is good. I thank God. I appreciate Dr. Harden doing this. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Amen. John might not have been blessed like we are to be able to raise our children to see them grow. But there's one thing about all of the life that he took and all the good things that would speak louder than what we can just say. Amen. He took many lives. And when you look at grow up and hear people talk and see, see their friends, amen. The word could be down. Your life speak louder than words. So I just thank God and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I got the word that John Fraser was the 23rd Psalm. A division of the Psalm. And I'm going to close this in behalf of the family and in behalf of his daughter. And if this is what he lacked, this is what needs to be said. Is that right? And uh, so the 23rd Psalm, it goes that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pasture. He restored my soul. He lead him in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod, thou stop, thou copper me. They prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. They nod in my head with all. Shouldn't and goodness and methods shall follow me. All the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I say again, God bless you, God keep you, and I want you to know, from the depth of my heart, I love every person in this place tonight. God bless you. Thank you, Willie. Now, let's see. I'm not going to have any tears.